Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to have a try with this one. So um, if, if you search in my channel, so I, I did two videos. So one is um, day 119 and another one is day 252 so not 119 I talked about how to create um, a, a, a series of lines to create a golden ratio pattern okay in day 252 I use this line to create create this shape uh, it's like a, a shell but if uh, it follows the um, the golden ratio um, pattern, so today uh, we're going to use this uh, family. So if you, if you search search, you can search golden ratio or you can search day two five two. So and here you will find this link, and after you download this link, so you can open this um, rabbit file. So we are going to start from uh, start start with this one. Okay, so this is an adaptive family. So, uh, so let me just try. So C S create similar, and you can place the, can place this geometry by. So it's two point adaptive family. So place one point and place another point. So depending on the distance between these two points and Revit will create this shape uh, to match the, the, the size okay so this is it let me just uh, I'll just delete the smaller one and okay so now let's start so uh, we're going to adjust this family to so you will see this is only half so um, we we're going to just make this a full shape okay so we only need to go edit this family so and okay so now you can have a look at this one so it's actually um, uh, multiple parts so you will see one two three four five six six parts in this family so you can actually you can place more but because it's too small you won't <laughs> so um, that's that's probably enough for this exercise and also um, we we need to go into this family again so edit family and so now you will see how this form is created it's created by using these profiles along this line okay and um, Okay, so we need to select this profile and edit family. So now you will see this is a profile of that shape. So if, if you want to change the shape, so for example, this is a half circle, you can uh, um, you can you can use maybe you can you can use a half partial ellipse, or you can even use a spline to you know create interesting shape um, and yeah so let's just uh, make this a circle that's it okay so now this profile become a circle and then we can load this back into here okay so this is family 9 so let's load into family 9 okay and overwrite so now you will see this become uh, become what do we call this? <laughs> uh, instead of half, become a, a full shape. Um, then load into here. So this is family eleven, and overwrite, and overwrite. Okay, so it seems we have some issue here. So, but don't worry, we just need to 
place uh, place them again. But before that, um, we need to let's go into this family again because we used uh, we used the reference line to help us place place uh, this family. So if if you're not quite sure how we get these um, to work, so you can always just go back and watch those two video these two okay so now let's uh, uh i'm going to change this a uh, reference line so this is a reference line and i'm going to uncheck this one to make it visible so this will help uh, uh make it easier for us to place place this family okay so finish uh sorry low now you will see this line so let's continue let's place more of this so go create component so the first point it will be here so this point and the second point will be this point so end of this line so okay and continue and also uh, let me type wf wireframe so it's slightly easier so here 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 and you can place more if you want to I'll stop here because the more you place uh, the more time it uh, really need to cal calculate this geometry. So change the shade SD, and this is what we have. Okay, so now we can load this or help. Before that, I wanted to go back to, into this family to change that rep into uh, ch change this line into reference line. So then you. Uh, once we load that list family into a project, we won't see these lines. Okay, so they are still there, but just invisible. Load this back into the project. Overwrite, overwrite, overwrite. Okay, so this is it and we can then place uh, elements on this so um, for example we can place curtain system oops create system you can place on any of the the face okay and um, maybe I'll just delete this one delete this curtain system on this flat face because we don't uh, we can actually we can place a uh, curtain wall on flat this uh, face as well so curtain system so it's uh, very similar to curtain wall but uh, it's more flexible so you can edit it to for example uh, you can uh, change the panel you can change the the all these grids so uh, so for example, I'll change it to a um, fixed number and you can add mullions. I'll just quickly um, place all the mullions onto it and click OK. Um, maybe we can add some more. How about 8x8? Eight eight? That's better. Uh, maybe we need to select all to change this to 8 by 8. That's better. Oh, this panel, why, why are they gray? Oh, material. Glass. No glass. Uh, different name <laughs> okay so thickness 12 offset 0 okay 
Yeah. So this is something you can do. Um, let me just HR to bring back the mass. So because this is a flat and also a vertical face, you can place. Uh, you can even place uh, curtain walls on it. Okay. And then once you have the curtain wall, so you know, um, we know that uh, we can we can change this to a door or windows. Okay, so it's currently it's not loaded, so that's fine. Edit type load, so it's under your curtain wall panels. So there's there are some doors, and you can also download doors curtain curtain panel doors and windows from the internet. Okay, so let's load this one. Okay, and then that's a door. And of course, if you change the pan, you can ch you can always change the grid grids to change the door size. Um, what else? So you can also use roof, roof by face. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I click, I click on the wrong thing. So this is a roof. So let me just hh this. So see, this is a roof. And oh, you can also you can even use a sloped sloped glazing it's, uh, it looks like uh, it looks like it's a flat this is because of the grid i believe so if we change the setting so for example uh, change it to fixed distance maybe and so once you have more than one um, panel so it, it will uh, start to look like like this one okay so it's basically very similar to that so sloped glazing and what else so of course we can place wall by face onto the so let me just onto oh it seems it won't allow me to place oh did i sorry curtain wall not not curtain wall but any of other walls you can place onto these okay so that's um that's it um if you have any questions please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye